Four, three, two, one. Three, You'll four, never four, have four, me, Sacred Stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Flavor. The flavor today is George Carlin on rape. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for any future videos. So, without any further ado, let's take a look at George Carlin on rape. Say, well, you can talk about something, but you can't joke about it. Say you can't joke about something because it's not funny. Comedians run into that shit all the time. Like rape. They'll say you can't joke about rape. Rape's not funny. I say, fuck you. I think it's hilarious. How do you like that? <laughs> I can prove to you that rape is funny. Picture Porky Pig raping Elmer Fudd. <laughs> See, hey, why do you think they call him Porky, huh? Oh, I know what you're going to say. Elmer was asking for it. <laughs> Elmer was coming on to Porky. Porky couldn't help himself, he got a heart on, he got horny, he lost control, he went out of his mind. A lot of men talk like that, a lot of men think that way, they think, they think it's the woman's fault, they like to blame the rape on the woman, say, hey, she had it coming, she was wearing a short skirt. These guys think women ought to go to prison for being cock teasers, don't seem fair to me, don't seem right, but you can joke about it. I believe you can joke about anything, it all depends on how you construct the joke, what the exaggeration is what the exaggeration is because every joke needs one exaggeration every joke needs one thing to be way out of proportion give you an example you ever see a news story like this in the paper every now and then you run into a story says some guy broke into a house stole a lot of things and while he was in there he raped an 81 year old woman and i'm thinking to myself why? <laughs> what the fuck kind of a social life does this guy have? <laughs> or not have. I want to say, why did you do that? Well, she was coming on to me. Oh, gosh. We were dancing and I got horny. Hey, she was asking for it. She had on a tight bathrobe. <laughs> I say, Jesus Christ, be a little fucking selective next time, will you? <laughs> selective. <laughs> now, speaking of rape, you know what I wonder? I wonder, is there more rape at the equator or the North Pole? These are the kind of things I think about when I'm sitting home alone and the power goes out. <laughs> the power goes I out. I wonder, is there more rape at the equator or the North Pole? I mean, per capita. I know the populations are different. Most people think it's the equator. I think it's the North Pole. North people North think North. it's the equator because it's hot down there. They don't wear a lot of clothing. Guys can see women's tits. They get horny and there's a lot of fucking going on. <laughs> That's exactly why there's less rape at the equator, because there's a lot of fucking going on. You can tell there's a lot of fucking at the equator. Take a look at the population figures. Billions of people live near the equator. How many Eskimos we got? 30, 35? <laughs> no one's getting laid at the North Pole. It's too fucking cold. Guys say to their wives, hey, tonight, honey, huh? Tonight, huh? Are you crazy? The windshield factor is 300 below. <laughs> These guys are deprived, they're horny, they're pent up. Every now and then, they bust out, they gotta rape somebody. Now, the biggest problem an Eskimo rapist has, trying to get wet leather leggings off a woman who's kicking. <laughs> Did you ever try to get leather pants off of someone who doesn't want to take them off? You would lose your heart Super. on in the process. Up at the North Pole, your dick would shrivel up like a stack of dimes. <laughs> That's another thing I wonder. He got her rape. I wonder, does a rapist have a hard on when he leaves the house in the morning? Or does he develop it during <laughs> the day the while he's rapist. walking around looking for somebody? These are the kind of thoughts that kept me out of the really good schools. <laughs> now I probably got the feminists all pissed off at me because I'm joking about rape. Feminists want to control your language. Feminists want to tell you how to talk. And they're not alone. They're not alone. I'm not picking on the feminists. They got a lot of company in this country. There's a lot of groups, a lot of institutions in this country want to control your language. Tell you what you can say and what you can't say. Government wants to tell you some things you can't say because they're against the law. Or you can't say this because it's against the regulation. Or here's something you can't say because it's a secret. 
You can't tell him that because he's not clear to know that. Government wants to control information and control language because that's the way you control thought. And basically that's the game they're in. Same with religion. Religion is nothing but mind control. Religion is just trying to control your mind, control your thoughts. So they're going to tell you some things you shouldn't say because they're sins. And besides <laughs> telling you things you shouldn't say, Sin. religion's going to su suggest to you some things you ought to be saying. Here's something you ought to say first thing when you wake up in the morning. Here's something you ought to say just before you go to sleep at night. Here's something we always say on the third Wednesday in April after the first full moon in spring at four o'clock when the bells ring. Religion is always suggesting things you ought to be saying. Same with political groups of all kinds. Political activists, anti-bias groups, special interest groups are going to suggest the correct political vocabulary, the way you ought to be saying things, and that's where the feminists come in. Now, as I said, I got nothing against the feminists. In fact, I happen to agree with most of the feminist philosophy I have read. I agree, for instance, that for the most part, men are vain, ignorant, greedy, brutal assholes who've just about ruined this planet. <laughs> who've, just, who've just about ruined this planet because they're afraid someone might have a bigger dick out there somewhere. Men are basically insecure about the size of their dicks, and so they go to war over it. You don't have to be a political scientist or a history major to see the bigger dick foreign policy theory at work. <laughs> it goes something like this. What? They have bigger dicks? Bomb them! And of course, the bombs and the bullets and the rockets are all shaped like dicks. I don't understand that part of it, but it is part of the equation. Just when you thought comedian wouldn't be talking about right, BAM! Carlin hits it. And he hits it because they said, you can't talk about it. He wants to talk about it. That's what Carla does when his power's off and there's nothing to do. This is what he's thinking about. The Eskimos. How the Eskimos getting through. <laughs> How the Eskimos rape. George, Carla, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell for any future videos. Until next time. Deuces.